Hi, my name's Ben. This tutorial is a quick introduction to my new product which is available, which is the Skyreach Moon Set. Let's have a quick look what's there. Basically, in the Moon Set, you're looking at a triple layered sky dome, which consists of transparent layers. The first being the cloud layer, the second the star layer, and the third non-transparent layer is a background layer. What you can do is use these three things to make many different skies within DAS. And I've also included a moon prop in this set, hence the name. If we just go ahead and load that there, you can see I've added to the scene the three domes and a moon cam. The moon cam helps you position the moon and the sky arc is the actual moon prop. There are two lights attached to that, which can be used to adjust to give different appearances. So if I go ahead now and change to the moon cam, you can see the camera is now attached to the camera. And I can go ahead and further position that in my scene. What we're aiming to do is just come out with a nice pose here with the dragon. So let's just get that right. And now I can adjust where the moon actually sits by selecting the sky arc directly through the parameters tab. And we use the rotate tools. The X will raise it higher, and I believe the Z, the Z looks like tilt, and the Y will move it across. There are a number of different poses you can apply to the moon, which I can quickly demonstrate for you here. It's, we have the four poses, which will bring the moon to varying distances from the camera, while still keeping it behind the cloud layer. The extra large moon is very exaggerated, and would be used in something like a werewolf scene or anything you want a high sense of drama. In this scene, I'll use the default setting on the moon and I'll just position that quickly back over on the side. And basically by utilizing the different materials, you can create vastly different effects. So with the sky art selected, I'll change to the moon materials and you can see there are 11 there to choose from. Of course, you can modify these in a variety of ways and the full moon there, and we have a couple of different varying arc moons. So you can kind of get the effect you're looking for. Let's just look at the fantasy moon with this one. Well, I'll we'll have a quick look at the cloud layer while we're talking about this. You can adjust the cloud layer in either its material or where it sits. I'm going to quickly put on the column effect and by using the rotation tools, it's possible to rotate the cloud layer in the scene to find a nice position for your clouds. That looks quite good. I'll do a quick test render here just to show you what it can do. The layered domes are really quite effective in being able to make your scene unique. You can rotate the clouds, rotate the stars, and of course you can animate all of these conditions. You can see the moon there. You can adjust the colouring of the moon by using the diffuse settings, or also you can use the spot lighting which is directly pointed at the moon and will follow it throughout the scene. As you can see that scene looks quite nice there. We've got some stars there and quite a nice cloud ring effect. You can also move things subtly just to get the positioning 100% right. I'd probably look at moving the sky arc up at this point, which is best to use the scene tab to select your objects as the cloud layer rests in front. So you'll tend to select that when you click on the background. And if I just adjust the X axis here to put it up a little higher. Of course, you can add any props to the scene. You can load the preset scene onto the top of any scene you've created to add an effective moon set behind that. There are also daylight settings which can be added to this, which I'll cover in another tutorial. As you see, this is quite effective background generator. You can adjust many components of it, including the cloud colors, the different star maps, the different moon maps, and you'll be really happy with the product. If you have any questions, you can contact me at renderosity.com as Razor42. Um, I have a number of products available there and there will be some additional products released for the moon set, which will include texture maps, which allow you to change the moon to various planets from the solar system and possibly suns. 
Okay, well thank you for joining me for this tutorial and have a good day.